this program. Who's now that part of the program when we show <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brick Something. Thank you so much for joining me on this long overdue proper unbox something. Today we're looking at Masterverse New Adventure Skeletor. I'm super stoked that I was able to find this relatively early. I don't think it's hit shelves officially yet. You might notice today that I'm sort of retooling some things here in the studio. I'm trying to figure it out as I approach the year anniversary of my channel on August 14th. So bear with me as I figure this out. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually just sort of maybe show you some pictures of the box when it's relevant. And I think in this case it is because this is actually just the second figure that's coming in this new adventures uh, packaging, right? This Masterverse packaging for this sub line. I by no means was a fan of the original cartoon. By that time, I was barely interested. But going back to revisit Masters of the Universe, as so many of us have in the last 10, 15 years, it's really exciting to kind of look at the totality of the Masters of the Universe IP. And as much as we might want to, we can't ignore this part of the history. Besides, it goes along with the whole idea of it being a masterverse, right? Everything is multiversal. So let me go and get into the toy. If you know anything about the vintage toy for this one, yes, there's a certain place it has in people's hearts. I think the design itself was pretty cool, but the execution back in the day was kind of whack. Um, classics did it as well. And honestly, I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm not a huge fan of the classics version, despite it being, you know, a great sculpt and everything. They use this thick buck in every single figure. And frankly, it got a little exhausting for me. I'm not even going to pretend to weigh this one versus the classics version. Everyone's got their opinion. I just happen to think this one looks a lot better. This is how he came in package. He does come with this helmet that sort of completes the look as you see him in the cartoon, but it's a separate piece. They gave him a full 360 degree head sculpt and you can kind of see the sort of bio mechanical cybernetic stuff happening with what looks like kind of a fleshy maybe brain or skull. I don't know, their skin there, right? And then of course you can put this helmet on to complete the look. I will say right now, that that head sculpt is easily my favorite head sculpt of all the Masterverse Skeletors that Mattel has given us. Um, if you go back to my video where I showed you a little bit of glimpse of what I've done with my sort of mini Skeletor collection, I felt the need to kind of replace those Mattel heads. I'm just not, not really feeling the sculpts. But this one, this is really special. Give you a little bit of a close up. That skeleton head is beautiful. Easily like the sculpt on that the, the front jaw area, like to me, this is the best skull that Mattel has been able to give us in the Masterverse line. I think I'm actually partial to the unhelmeted head. And that, that look is really cool. You can totally tell that like whoever worked on this sculpt was really trying to like take this version of this Skeletor up to the next level. Because if you watch that show, it kind of left a little bit to be desired. Yeah, man, from every angle, I think it's just a really cool head sculpt. Okay, so what else does this guy come with? As you can see here, he comes with a soft goods cape, which is like, eh. It's that same Mattel fabric that's come with a lot of the figures recently. Maybe aside from the Andra figure and the King Grayskull figure in this line, the rest of these capes have been super flimsy. Just, I don't know, it's a shiny, kind of cheap looking material spongy feeling almost uh it's just not my thing no wires it's the same material that came with hordak with batland with shira um it's just it's it's just frankly just feels kind of cheap but i guess for a retail figure it's kind of what's come to be expected but it works i mean we're talking 21.99 i think was his retail price um after using the red card and using some like target circle things i actually got this figure for about 17 bucks so not bad this little ring around his head is how it's connected. You can take it off. You can see the sculpt underneath. I think look at his back. They took the time to really kind of just put in some detail there and sculpt in his spine. Like, what's the story that that is really cool? Let's run through the accessories. Uh, this is the staff that he comes with. This is the only weapon. It's that sort of version of the Havoc staff, I guess, if that's what he's still calling it at this time in New Adventures. 
really, really cool sculpt. Take a look at what's going on there. Unfortunately, it's that, you know, Masterverse, just unpainted plastic. It's a cool, like, metallic, well, I'd say pearlescent plastic, um, which gives it a cool look. But really, this is going to need a little bit of paint to bring out some of those details. And maybe someday, if I ever get to it, I'd love to take a crack at it. Because there really are some great details in the accessories here in this Masterverse line. And same goes for the figures. I've talked a lot about that before. That I really think these figures could, like, just with a little bit of plussing, could absolutely be amazing. Either way, cool looking accessory. He comes with two... Fist hands packed in. And of course the helmet I showed you earlier. As far as articulation goes, it's pretty basic stuff for Masterverse. You see here with his arms up. I like to cheat it for those of you who want a little bit more because you've got the bicep swivel. I mean, if you really needed to. You know his arms are on the standard peg and a swivel. You've got the bicep swivel. You've got double jointed elbows that are okay. That's the most I can get them in there. Oh, the hands are pretty standard. Um, nothing really new except for this figure on his right hand does have a vertical hinge, which is cool if you want to maybe do that. I have the power kind of deal. This side is a horizontal. So as far as the torso goes, let's talk about this waist real quick. You'll notice the cut is right in the middle. And because of sort of the way that the uh, techno bits on his belt are, it's really, it's hidden well. Of course, it's going to be a little bit odd once you start getting that torso around. That's just the way these figures are. I think it's fine. I think it's actually really well hidden. I really appreciate that they. this is a sort of overlay piece that they've added here for this armor, and which is made of this sort of like softer plastic, which allows that diaphragm to work. I don't know what's going on with these Masterverse figures. I feel like this wave moving forward, the um, diaphragm works a little bit better to get that crunch better than some of the early ones like the earliest he-man wasn't very good he'd have this weird like flex and bounce so overall that's really cool oh i skipped the head sorry the head's pretty standard um if you're wondering what that looks like under there it's heads on a peg connects with a ball joint legs are pretty standard um it is pretty limited in his seating you can see that it's not a true sort of 90 degree we've got the thigh cut standard we've got the bar that's going on around there and that's really the best he can do in terms of the splits and we do have the double jointed knees i love the knees on these guys because of that you can get some pretty good poses for a mass market figure you know some dramatic like flying kicks or jumps standard ankle there's a ratchet there pretty good it's got the rocker. Again, Masterverse figures, they're just getting a little bit better each time. Overall, I'm really impressed with this figure. At this point in the Masterverse line, I have admittedly been thinking about stepping back a little bit from it, as especially since Comic-Con, they started announcing a lot of the same key characters are coming back. Yeah, a new attorney of form, but you know, I have a Triclops, I have a Trap Jaw, I have two other Duncans right now. What I get excited about are when they're doing characters like this and giving us cool versions. Yeah, I mean, I think he looks really great. I'm really appreciating the detail that's going on in that helmet. I think with just a little bit of customizing and some love, you could turn this figure into a really premium looking Skeletor. So now it's time for some side-by-sides with other figures. Here he is with some of his Masterverse companions. Just need to point out that this is a custom He-Man head that I got from Jose Luis Morel and a little bit of um, custom fur that I did a while back. Here he is with some Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Looking real good. You probably heard me go on and on on this channel about Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, Awok, and just the sculpts that I love. You'd look at these and Mattel really stepped it up with this sculpt. And here's some Mythic Legion's Masters of the Universe tribute figures. Some of Zezre's combatants fight for glory. 
kind of interesting to see a different Skeletor side by side. You can kind of see the size difference. Again, this is a little bit further back in the Masterverse line, so we're making adjustments along the way, clearly. Some really, really random Marvel Legends. And here he is with some Masters of the Universe classics. It's a very familiar mutant buddy over here, Optic. And just some miscellaneous shots here with Storm Collectibles and Super 7. The New Adventures version of Skeletor really has no business being this good. Clearly, they wanted to make a beautiful version of this character. When it boils down to it, we just got a great new version of Skeletor. I think there are going to be some Masters of the Universe fans who are scratching their heads or might be a little bit frustrated that they spent so much time making this one really good. It's just a weird choice because this is by no means the sort of classic Skeletor that people have in their heads when they think of the character. But hey, we've got a couple different versions of this character now for Masterverse. I'm really happy to see this one. I think it's easily the best version of New Adventure Skeletor that they've ever made. Super happy to get him and to add him on my shelf. And once again, thank you for hanging out with me and checking out the videos here on Brick Something. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. If you're looking for even more of a toy fix right now, see the link to the left to check out a fellow member of the Legion of Lesser Toy Tubers. Gracias por ver este video. Salamat sa inyong lahat. And as always, peace and power.